territorial disputes are not made by bad people or fascists or communists or socialists or free enterprises. They're made by social conditions called the march of events. In other words, if the media were coming toward the earth, I can assure you that all nations would stop their armies and navies and share ideas with one another to try to divert that media away from the earth. Not because they're good, but because they're all threatened. All nations will join together on any common threat if they realize it. What he's proposing is a system based on the methods of science to, to produce abundance for everyone in the quickest time without polluting the earth. He's talking about a system based on, on the well-being of people and the environment. He's talking about a system that does not use money. As long as you use money, you'll have corruption, greed, you need a monetary crime, system. embezzlement. Yeah. So he's trying to get rid of the root causes of the problem. We have enough goods and resources to take care of the entire population and even more if we use it wisely. But what we're doing today, we're doing mass killings by starvation. And we're against that. We're saying we have enough resources. We have if enough we money. use science and technology to the best of our ability without the monetary system to feed, house, and clothe everyone on Earth, we can do that today. That's what he's talking about. Sometimes a person comes up to me and he says, I have ten children. And when I say, what are they for? <laughs> what are they for? <laughs> Just having children is not wisdom. No, I don't believe in depopulization. I believe in educating the public. Why don't you put 10,000 people on the boat? Because it will sink. The displacement of that boat determines how many people you can put on it, not Fresco. And if you want to take, take 400 people, put them in a spaceship, it won't get off the ground. You have to figure what the thrust is, how much thrust you can develop in a spaceship. And when the government came up to scientists and said, can you put a man on the moon? The first thing they said is, I don't know. So I'm saying there is other ways of thinking about things but you need help. When a man takes his belt off and whips his kid, is he bad? No. He doesn't know any other way to get to them. He says, do what your daddy says. The kid doesn't, so he whips him, because his daddy whipped him. He doesn't know. Now, protesting the stock exchange will not change anything. I hate to tell you this, I wish it did. I'm going to try to tell you what we have to do to live in a world without war without poverty, without hunger, and without most crimes. All the criminals are made by this society, by the monetary system and scarcity, and burdens that are too big for the average person to handle. There will be no armies, no navies, no prisons, and no police in a resource-based economy. Why? Because it's just like the public library. You can access any book you want to. Next door to the public library, we have a camera center where anybody in the community, who was seven years, they're all kids, can walk in and say, I've come to check out the camera. Free, no fee involved. Do you understand that? Just like the public library. Next door to that, we have musical instruments where anybody, like the public library, can check out any musical instrument. The Venus Project is sharing all the Earth's resources with all the world's people. A resource-based economy is using resources rather than money, making all things available to all people. And if you don't do that, you'll have wars, robbery, crimes of all kinds, even every criminal is made by this culture. Once you make things available, that's the end of crime.